Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this A Dewey campaign here on it up but bottom two. So before uh, let me stop my timer, finally. Got my timer. Now let's end up to turn. Uh, I don't think so. I think I have some agents we need to move. There we go. Of course you need to move, dude. I want you to check out some other guys' lands. Oh there we go. There we have it. So this is a rebel general, but that's my objective. Uh, high us then. Nice. Let's go into trade rights. Certainly. And now let's... Everyone is bankrupt. It's amazing. It's amazing that everyone is bankrupt. Let's get some gold out of them. Can I? Just reject it. Okay. I guess they don't have gold. So maybe some payment? Something? 500? Anything that helps? Just reject it. That's because they don't actually have any gold. Something like that. Let's accept. It's much better to for them to accept me than you know to have all these problems. But now I can actually see their their position. Which is good. Armenians. That's fine, guys. Now certainly let's end up the turn or the season. As you wish. End it up. Now I need a couple of turns. We stabilize in terms of finances, but I need a couple of turns before I can actually do something about it. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to try and be extremely cost-effective on the next two settlements, I guess. I guess I can do two settlement battles. Let me try, at least. Now armies certainly move really bad. Hostility sees. End of turn, I'm gaining a thousand. That's good. I could earn a little bit more if I wanted to. Uh, let me check where is their armies. Oh, there's one here. Lots of lots of slingers actually. Yeah, that's lots of slingers and some naked fanatics and stuff. Some good noble cavalry. That will be interesting actually. He's got a couple of units lying around. That's fine. That's fine for us for now. Now, I wonder if I should raise the tax rate. Like, I'm winning a hundred and a thousand. Let me see how can I change everything for a little bit. Let me see. Normal, high tax rate. Normal, not high. If I raise it a little bit, just for one turn, how much do I earn? How much do I earn? Two thousand and six hundred. Okay. I'm going to do that for one, possibly two turns, I guess. Let me check my diplomat again. This guy... Oh, what's happening here? These are allies. Well, these are Bactrian. I haven't spoken to Bactrian as well first. Let's trade with them. Offer alliances. I don't care if I offer alliances at all. I just want them to give me as much money as possible. I know they're bankrupt, but maybe they'll go for it. They went for it. That's good. So they're not actually as bankrupt. Good. Good. Actually, 20,000 now. That's good. That's good. Pretty nice. If I get two villages here, I think I'll be able to, you know, get my fantasies back up. And then as soon as you start building up on those cities, everything starts uh, flowing properly. I guess the what the the usual uh, gameplay is going around. Well, usually what happens in terms of gameplay is that you don't have to do this. You don't start with just one settlement. Everyone is rebel. You usually start more like on this position with, of course, with good finances. So this is quite interesting to see. Now let me check my not my military, my city. For now, it's on, all on good public order, so I'm going to leave that way. I'm going to leave it that way. So it's much better. Let me check my diplomat as well. You can talk to who? Saka. You can talk to Saka. Actually, first offer the trade rights. That way it's better for us. Now, the map information and some... Some gold, at least. Come on. Just reject it. Okay, allies, map information. Let's offer some. At least for some gold. Just reject it. Wow. Allies for some gold. I think they're gonna refuse it again, but. Not interested. Ah, damn. 
Oh well, just gonna wait a little bit there. There's plenty of diplomats there, so it's fine. Uh, end up to turn, of course. Twenty turns in, and a couple of nice battles, a couple, a couple of uh, nice developments here, but still, still difficult. I wonder if it would be, have been better instead of fighting the rebels, if it would have been better to conquer um, the Arverni right in the mi in the beginning. I don't know if it would have been better or not, but for now, I guess that's that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, this guy really they cannot move at all during winter. That's interesting. Two thousand and six hundred. That's good. Let me check my agents. Come on, don't fail me now. Now let's check these other the Sabaean. We want trade rights, of course. And they're also bankrupt. <laughs> Everyone is actually. I think they should raise a little bit that. Accepted. Good. I gained another thousand. Twelve thousand. It's not going to take too many. That's because I'm, <laughs> I'm getting so many alliances and a lot of map information. Which is always good. It's always good. Oh, uh, I was thinking, where's the map actually? It's not really that visible. I kind of like it and dislike it at the same time. Hmm. Now let's see. He's trying to attack over here on this rebel town. Uh, he's not really doing it well. I guess he can attack there. That's fine. End up the turn. I guess he can attack there. That's gonna be cool. I only have this army. I have no chance at all of getting a better one for now. So all of this money is going until I can start building up some stuff. And then I'm going to go immediately into low tax rate again. That's it. So, you can attack over here. That's good. And now you can get out of there. That's fine. I know this Arverni army is here. End of turn. 12,000. That's all I need. Okay, let me check over here. Now, those are some terrifying units. And certainly these as well. Yeah. I gotta make sure that I don't lose too many men over there. Okay, my diplomat. Where is this Sabine, the Saka diplomat? There we go. Let's talk to them again. I think you can pay me a little bit. 800, perhaps? That's generous. Accept it. Good. At least I got something out of them. Nebetian, I gotta talk to them as well. That's a lot. That's a good place to go. It's a good place to go. Everyone is there. No, it's it's really nice. Now eleven thousand. It's going to go over to eight thousand. Oh, so goody, 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 goody. Let's end up the season here. I'll be able to besiege Otricon, and that's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. So far, the beginning is really difficult. Um, Either you think, uh, I, I think about it this way, either you capture like three settlements and then you delete all of your units in hopes that no one attacks you, and you get that money to improve your lands, or you keep up with that army and try to make the most out of it. I guess that's good. Can I starve them? Yes, I can. Maintain the siege. Good. Relations bad with those. End of turn. Okay. Let me check over here. Where's my diplomat? What's what's the mine actually? Okay, so these guys are my allies. These are allies, allies, and Nebatian, they are not allies. Let's offer trade rights and map information for single payment. Wealth is meager, so these guys should be able to give me some good gold. Barely accepted, but that was awesome. Thousand five hundred. Okay, it's gonna take like three turns to stabilize my uh, gold actually. Okay, that's it. All rebel villages there. This guy has traveled really well. <laughs> okay, so far I'm besieging them here. Two turns. That's fine. I wish they would join me there. I think two turns is what I actually need to get some good uh, golds coming in. After that, then it's all buildings, guys. It's all buildings. I'm still going to keep this army going in. Uh, because it, I think it's can can still fight pretty well. Oh, finally the Lugions managed to do so. Can you pay me some good money? 
they're bankrupt, but maybe just a thousand. Just reject it. Okay. Something like this. Then you give me 200. Something like that. Accept it. Good. At least. Now we got some uh, information on them, which is good. Quite nice. End of turn, 4,000. Diplomatic information, they are allies. Wow, am amazing. How are the Romans from war to allies in like two turns? Amazing. Amazing. And this is one turn off. That's interesting. Now let me check my diplomat. Can you talk to anyone else? Can you? Perhaps, perhaps not. Oh, there, there seems to be someone here. I think it's all this Lucid Empire. Uh, this is Rebel Large Town. It's all, oh, it's all rebels. Okay, no problem, no problem. I think I should withdraw my diplomat from that area. You know, just go around in the, in the, the other area. I guess that would be good. Okay, one more turn. It's going to be this fight here. I'm actually going to save if I can actually going to save it if I can. Uh, sometimes, by the way guys, I may be able to salvage stuff, but the way that the recording is working is that it is attacking... A, oh, he's attacking me. Now, the way that the recording works is that it will go on a blank or in a, or in a black screen if, I, if it crashes, so I might be able to salvage it. That way, sometimes, it may happen. Let's go into the battlefield. Let's get it on. Mall. One more place that I'm going to conquer. Then I'm going to conquer. Actually, I think I can manage to capture the second place as well. Okay, where are my slingers? Actually, all of you. Okay, you're going to go here. My best units. Let's go, combatants. Group in. That's it. All of you order fire. And you guys, you're just gonna group up. And you're gonna go where you're needed. That's it. Okay, that's it. This cavalry unit, you're gonna go here. Everyone runs into position. That's good. What do they have? They're sending in some noble cavalry there. I wonder, can I attack them? Barely. So let's just move my slingers a little bit closer. Actually, you're gonna move right on top of these units. And you're gonna move right a little bit forward. That way I can divide their forces. And you guys, you're gonna close up a little bit more. That's it. You're running in position. Come on. Noble cavalry and such. Can you actually reach that way? Uh, I guess not. I guess they're gonna. S yeah, they're still gonna be charged with this. Okay, no problem. Let's just strike them down. I know these are noble cavalry, so that's why I need this. Uh, okay, you cavalry units. Let's go over here. Let's go run into position. What's going on here? Everyone seems to be fine. Yeah, everyone's gonna have a couple of mat to attack. That's it. Butteroy are gonna suffer some damage. That's it. Go! Skirmish away! That's good! Pretty cool. It's gonna attack all over that edge. Now here's some noble cavalry there. It's fine. And I think I can actually attack them. Charge in! Charge in, that's it. This guy is attacking, that's good. Hey, this Celtic cavalry has withdrawn. That's it, good. And actually move in over here. That's good, all my slickers are attacking. That's always nice. Run in, actually, you're gonna take here, you're gonna take here, and you're gonna charge here, that's it. Soldiery, charge them over there. That's it. 
What are you gonna do? I'm gonna move here actually. That's it. That's good. Run into position, that's nice. These guys are fighting. Good. I think they're gonna hold on pretty well, my combatants. They're very good units. These guys just start attacking over there. That's it. You guys, just go back. You guys, just go over here. Actually, charge those cavalry units. That's it. My slingers are still attacking. That's nice. Let's charge these guys. Actually, you, sirs. Let's move here. These are some quite noble infantry units. That's it. These guys should be capable of doing that. Come on. Take them out. Run over here. What do I have here? Actually, just position like this. He's retreating with everyone. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to push forward. And my slingers are actually going to move where they can attack everyone else. Let's run in. So how are these cavalry? Oh, I managed to get them quite well. Some Celtic archers, some spearmen are running away. I guess I should need some of my cavalry on that other side. I guess that's it. These men... Well, now let's strike them down. Let's get these guys away. Actually, let's try to strike them down. That's it. Noble Cavalry is going to have some damage. Let's hit charge them down. Good. It's going to cause quite a lot of damage here. 71. We're now equals, actually. There we go, 70 there. 68, that's nice. This guy is just going to go here. Good. How are every single one of my men? How are you doing? You're doing great, actually. Now, I can actually cut their reinforcement path. Or their movement path. That's exactly what I want. That's it. Good. We're not going to be able to do anything about it. Just go over here. Run over there. My slingers are doing some good damage. That's nice. Now everyone here is hanging on. That's good. You're crushing them. Just keep pushing them. That's great. Great stuff. Okay, just kind of want them to move closer, actually. These guys just going to close up. Run over there. These men strike on their noble cavalry. Well, if I can capture their general, then it's done here. How many men have I lost? 16%. He's lost only 26. So I'm not doing things properly here. He might be able to, you know, catch me. But for now, what I think I can do is actually this. I can charge them on this side. My slingers can always do some good damage. Let's move over there. That's it. Where's my general? Oh, damn. There's some Celtic archers there. I guess I'm going to attack these units. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to catch all these Batarai. That's nice. One of their best units is routing already. I might be able to capture a few of them. That's it. All these, all these units. Let's just move over there. Go. My slingers are causing them some damage. Actually, just move over there. That's it. Where's my general now? 57. These are 31. He's actually attacking me. So no time for you. You're just going to go over there. Now certainly all of these units. Where are we? He's retreating there. That's fine. His general is not. Come on. Kill his general, will you? 
Okay, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy just deploy over here. That's it. You guys just attack over there. As well as you. That's it. And who is not moving? These guys? Let's just move over here. That's it. I want a slinger archery range. Okay, his general is fleeing. So that's the perfect time to kill him. Good! We slayed his general, that's nice. Having slayed the general, everything is much easier. You can just move these units here. My general and cavalry can go here. Run in. And now I think all that I have to do is keep up. The my slingers are going to capture or kill a lot of his men. Not capture, kill of course. Yeah, as you can see here. Not gonna do too much. Just gonna wait until my Not slingers good. kill most of their men. That's it. Which they should actually. They should kill a lot of them. Now they're all moving over there. They're all shaken. Doesn't matter. My slingers. Come on. Fire them. Good. Let's go. That's it. How many men? 37%. Let's speed this up a little bit, shall we? I'm gonna have these cavalry units over there. Okay, these units plus this and this. Let's group up. Shift one. I'm gonna move here. Run. You're gonna move here with these guys. Group. Where's these other units? There you go. Run into position, that's good. Now there's the Noble Cavalry. Of course he's not gonna hang out for quite a some time. Now I'm in times two still. My slingers are still firing. He lost like 5% of their men just with my slingers, which is awesome. That's excellent. Now he's trying to attack a few men here. Yeah, his Noble Cavalry is gonna die nevertheless. Let's strike them now. Actually, let's just deploy here. I'm gonna attack them on their flanks. Let's send everyone in. At least I might be able to cause a mass rout. And if I do that, I'm gonna win this battle without losing too many men. 20% of my men. That's just fine. Oh! Exactly that! End the battle! Good! Lost 330 men, he lost 619, but of course he lost almost everything after that. So at least I didn't lose too much. And yeah, that's another conquest. Another conquest, and I think my uh, finances on the next episode will be finally good. So we can check out some buildings. At least for now, as you can see, it's not really that difficult to get into a good position. Of course I could do some things different, but for now... It's good. Sack the settlement, exterminate, of course not. Just occupy, it's standard, it's fine. Yeah, and I'm gonna get profits on the next turn. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's merge my units here. I guess I could leave just these retainers there. End of turn. And I could go and uh, attack this un these units here. But they're quite... Yeah, the income is minus 94, really? <laughs> They're quite, um, yeah, they're quite troublesome, I would say. They're gonna have, give me some trouble. Uh, what I want to do is actually check out over here. Number to see now. No easy targets, that I gotta say. No easy targets. No easy targets. So, next, what will I do? Of course, with 1200, I can actually build up some proper stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna build up a lot of stuff. I think this is the best one. Procure order, local order, yeah. Military occupation, it's giving me less stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's much better to go with the other one. I don't know why military occupation, occupation even exists. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do... Where's my diplomat? Hello, diplomat. Now, I think he's not gonna go too far away. Uh, but, oh well. 
I guess there's no other option. Oh, the Seleucids are still over here. Look at the amount of terrain that the Seleucids have. <laughs> they extend for so much. Wow, that's just awesome. Now, I know that I have enough units to deal with these guys, but I don't want to do that. I just want to build up some good stuff. Okay, next episode, that's where I'm going to do it. Thank you all guys for watching, and goodbye.